So I figured this should go without saying. Uh, I might freak out. This might involve me screaming into my microphone. So, uh, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> Is it actually, like, starting, or... Am I missing something? Oh! It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. What do we got? Where have you gone? Xenoblade? Xenoblade 2? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! <gasps> what? I couldn't tell you. What? Because... No. I got an invitation to join Snap! What? What? Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Hold on! We need to chill! What? What? <laughs> Nintendo saw this and said, "Fuck you!" <laughs> oh my god! Pyro versus it. Wait, does that mean Mithra's out of this? Talk about a tight spot. <laughs> No way! No way! What? Nani? Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? What? What is happening? Coming through! Lightning! Faster! What? What? Am I seeing this right now? I'm sorry, two of the best girls from Xenoblade 2 are in Smash. What? That was a good tease. Are you... I've heard people saying another Xenoblade rep would be cool, and here we go! Oh, look, our friends are here, and there's some more. It's going to cost $39.99 each? No, they're not. What? That ain't how the bison works. See, Rex is technically in Smash. to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. What is happening? <laughs> you forget. We're fighters too. See, no blade two is in Smash. Oh my god! <laughs> Good start. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I can't believe that just happened. What the? Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct Mini. See, only two music is in Smash. That too. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Okay, they're acknowledging that. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Satire ain't happening, fam. I'm gonna just say that right now. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Brothers I... Ultimate. <laughs> 
and Mithra. I cannot believe that. The Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I can't believe that happened. In March, so we <laughs> Next month! Longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. I can't... Oh... Okay, Fall Guys, that, that was bound to happen. Alright, I figured- I figured Fall Guys was gonna happen. Toward great Pyra and Mithra, though, that came out of nowhere. They really teased us. They knew that we wanted Rex. Fall Guys music does slap. before the solar system is destroyed. Oh, Outer Wilds. Vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. Yo, this game looks neat, though. I, I've thought about picking this one up. The sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. He'll change you as a person, I bet. This does look really good, but why Switch though? The mysteries hidden in the universe. Like I feel like it wouldn't run well on Switch. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch. All right. Well, probably just going to get it on PC or something. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and <laughs> Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. <laughs> I think it's funny, because, like, they're just like, detective games? <gasps> Ace Attorney? And then they're just like, no. <laughs> Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense. Drama. No, there was a character named Genshin. Watch Genshin Impact is going to be announced for Smash. Or not Smash, uh... Genshin Impact is going to be on Switch. ...of a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. That's true. He is a lawyer, not a detective. Sherlock Holmes Simulator! In the other game, you'll investigate... Invite Frank to the debate tonight. ...mysterious death to free students from a sinister... Bro, Frank gonna be out here saying Gen 6 is the best. ...to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Well, that's definitely something. A new age of battles begins. Remakes of Famicom games. Oh, that is pretty cool. We have legacy content, guys! <laughs> Oh? What is this? No, this doesn't... No. No, they did not. They did not. Wait, no Bunaga? Oh. I was about to say, I, I saw Nobunaga, and I thought Pokemon Conquest. But why the hell would it be Pokemon Conquest? <laughs> and the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. Samurai Warriors 5, that's... Of the Sengoku period, as the I guess if you're the kind of a history buff on that front, that's pretty cool. Another Muso game, though. I, I've been playing a lot of those lately. Revamped for this installment. Unleash high-octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. 
in Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. It does track, but can it track its way to the Nintendo Switch? The vast world of Fadiel beckons. What is this? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring... Re oh, okay. ...coming to Nintendo Switch. Legacy uh, RPG, it looks like. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Oh, that's a cool idea. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. That's a neat concept. Fear some monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Boy. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Yeah, they're doing a lot with the Mana series, I find. What? Oh, this is Monster Hunter, isn't it? Yep, this Monster Hunter. Peep DMs, bet. Uh, I might be able to jump in for a little bit of a debate, I'm not too sure. So I tried the Monster Hunter Rise demo. It's decent, but I can't say I'll pick it up. I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. and we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet! Go! Go! No! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! You listen to me now! Here it comes! Watch out for the Apex! I don't- I don't know if I'll pick up World, either. I don't know, Monster Hunter just- the rampage. It doesn't seem like something I'd want to really get into. Although I guess it's not really fair to judge that based on the demo for Rise. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance! We must stop the Calamity! The Calamity? Who- <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the Monster Hunter Rise special switch. It looks so good. The latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. What do we got? Oh. The fairway is open once again. Mario Golf. Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Hooray. The wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar mushroom king. I mean, it, it's golf. Horses filled with lush, natural scenery. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good, like, cool for people who have been wanting this, but, like... 
love due to slopes and a scam yeah, his, his Mauro golf these features can help you ace your shots XD Gale of Darkness remake bro I would pop off by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club can you hit a fellow golfer in the bro that was like six years ago <laughs> Letting you easily enjoy the sensation of the obvious next step after tennis. Mario Super Sluggers, though. Get that baseball. Exactly frozen one. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. Including this one. Speed golf. Speed golf. Always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. Then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. Then keep going. Oh, that seems neat. Your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? Oh, what? Okay, there's a story mode. And develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test. When well, that seems neat. Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 20. Will it be longer than tennis story mode? That implies people played Mario Tennis. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. All right, let's go. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world. Oh, Tales from the Borderlands, okay. The Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion I remember hearing about this. Quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. Best Telltale game? I mean, the bar's kind of set low for Telltale. Find gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add on to build your collection. Local co op play is also available. Ooh, Street Fighter 2. Wait, didn't they already release Street Fighter 2 on this? Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly What? <laughs> No match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch. Bro, for real. For real, though. Mirror B theme. Let's freaking go. It's Mirror B theme. One of the best songs Pokemon's ever made. No cab. Oh, wait. Travis Tuck. <gasps> Hold up. Is this even. Hey! Anyway, oh, heroes three the entire city the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide earth's fate here we go as the crass beam katana wielding assassin travis touchdown you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world oh hey suda 51's not blocking the screen this time to enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick. I always love the visual design of the No More Heroes games. You can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Wait, they said the first half of 2021. Hold up. Exterminate demons in he heaven. 
Generals above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's gun? Bro, if Joker died for Persona... If Joker from Persona 5 just died, this is where he would go. He'd still be shooting. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment... Has nothing to do with it. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Wow, that's really cool looking. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. Okay. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. The entire experience looks like a dull moment. Some shopping downtown with my besties. Woo! And maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey! I got a comment already! Nice! Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. Yo, Chugga Convoy just lost his mind. <laughs> figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power, heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch, June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Yo, Chugga Conroy just lost it. Yo, Chugga Conroy, man, he lost it. I can imagine how he's feeling right now. <laughs> Finalgy year, which doesn't start until April for some companies. But it said, like, releasing the first half of 2021, though. So, that... Oh, you know what? Now that makes sense. Alright, I, th I think I get what you're saying, Red. Oh, new plants versus zombies, okay. Go, oh, complete edition. Who will join you in your adventure? Wait, this looks like that like me based RPG from the Yeah, okay, Metopia. Isn't this that shit from the 3DS? Coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Dark Lord Stan. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. So, like, Slam up your mies and get them ready for adventure. Uh, was Metopia even good? I, I never really heard much about it after it came out. Your meat creations and make them even more fabulous. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not interested in this at all, but. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? A horsey! Pretty darn good! 
Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. I don't know one person that bought this game on the 3DS, but okay. On Nintendo eShop. Super Mario themed items are I called it! I knew it! Mario themed item Super Wait, Mario yo, I mentioned this in my Animal Cross review. Nintendo <laughs> You watched it! No, I'm kidding. No. They, they didn't watch it. <laughs> Super Mushroom and the question Yo. furniture items. So play some. This looks so good. You can also place two warp pipes. Yeah, this is the first crossover. Yo, does this mean more Nintendo crossovers in the future? Hey, Wait, they got warp pipes? The mushroom kingdom. Oh my god, they got warp pipes. Yo, I might actually use those. A free update for the game launches February 25th. Yo. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Yo, I'm buying everything. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Yo, let's go! That is hype as hell. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. That's super cool. That might be the first time I open up Animal Crossing. These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Yeah, piss off with your anniversary shit. Speaking of which, last week... We all know how you treated your Mario 35th anniversary. You think we forgot Nintendo? Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Oh? Tell the 35 please. I mean we still got plenty of time. What's this all about? F okay. He leaves us no recourse. <laughs> I <laughs> I thought that was fire. <laughs> Are these the way to I thought they were about to drop like a fire emblem game on me here. And no other must decide how we proceed. I don't know why I thought that was fire emblem, but I thought they were about to drop it on me. And must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. No, oh, this can't be bravely too. Project Triangle Strategy. Far, far away lies the what? continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations. Doesn't and even have a name yet. Of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources. Salt and iron, let's go. <laughs> Known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> what? The, hostility <laughs> the Salt Iron War? Decades later, the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught no, but tactics, it, that does make this sound pretty interesting. A brave group from Glenbrook. I do like the mix of art styles here. Powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! Ah! Oh, that's horrifying. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground. Another game sent the Octopath Universe? Is it even made by the same people? Because if it is, then it's almost definitely the case at that point. Because it looks like Octopath. Outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Oh yeah, 100% the same engine. Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a Yeah, if it's like the Oh! Link attacks together by first casting ice. Why am I why do I have alerts enabled? Then electrify the area. Oh fuck. 
Okay, I thought text to speech was gonna turn on. What's that's that's not even before anybody tries. That's not the Wi-Fi password. Oh god, dude. can't be playing with me like this. But thank you for the resub with that Prime Gaming. In a variety of situations. Yo, imagine if they actually show another Smash Fighter at the end. I'm still trying to process Pyra and Mithra. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over that. Affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Bro, I have a couple of friends that would lose their shit from that. I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. Oh, interesting moral choices dynamic. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG. Well, that seems pretty cool. Oh, from Square. Okay. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download. On Hell yeah, I'm downloading that. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. Ooh. I look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Yo, sign me up. This looks fun. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG. It really does seem cool. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Square Enix always hitting it out of the park. Well, not always, but... Hunters. Is this Dark Souls? No. <laughs> Star Wars, it looks like. This is, this is definitely... This is Star Wars. It's a Star War! Star Wars Hunters. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Another free-to-play Star Wars game? Or not another, but a free-to-play Star Wars game? Yeah, that's gonna go well. Alright, Sam? When I'm through with you, Do I look at you or the camera? You'll never find your body. And we all play for did. different reasons. Mm. Are they fine with Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Thank you for the resub, Baronator. Black, Spear of Misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch Yes, that's coming from resubs. That is me with the Kermit voice from that Kermit Sings video. Uh, I basically replicated part of it for my resub message. What the hell am I looking at? It looks like the sport balls. Sports ball. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Battle to the half to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more game. Knockout City. What was this, like a competitive dodgeball or something? That was kind of weird. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight. 
Because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series, come oh. for your life. Nice America. Oriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Frozen One. Splatoon Dodgeball had a baby. The game is suddenly called off. Oh, I thought it was saying this game is canceled. <laughs> but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country. That's interesting, made by the Danganronpan people. Suspenseful narrative. Be the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival. That's not how bicycles. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Izanagi Games. Oh, the Persona references I can make. They do look like Pokemon characters. With the physical release of Hades. Oh, cool. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes nice. with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb. Ooh. On previous super giant titles like Transistor and Bastion. Nice, it comes with the soundtrack. That's cool. Character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Super Giants art director Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. That's super cool. Good for Super Giant. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Oh, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Okay. That's neat. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons. I remember people wanted this guy in Smash. Set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. This looks like a really fun hack and slash. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo. June 10th, alright. Alright, I might pick that up. I'm not too sure, but it looks fun. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors. I knew it! DLC, baby! They will kick your teeth, and everything kicks my ass. Yo, we're getting Age of Calamity DLC, let's go! It'll make it run worse, but I don't care! <laughs> let's fucking go! Yo, I'ma probably buy that, to be honest. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Dude, we still got 20 minutes left. <laughs> Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I need to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Wow, nine days until it comes out. An updated demo is also available.
I might grab the demo, I don't know. The legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon. The animation looks fun. Co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. That, that guy ain't got no head. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends hmm. storming onto the Nintendo Okay, Apex, yep, we we about expected that. Features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends. I remember I played Apex when it first came out and it was kind of fun. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all new legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Seems like a lot of people are releasing legacy content. Isn't that illegal or something? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Oh. Next, please take a look at this. Oh no, what do you have? I'm scared. AG <laughs> Onuma! I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Oh no. Fortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. No! Development is proceeding smoothly and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Uh, For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. You know what? I appreciate the transparency. The game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. I I do appreciate the transparency from Aonuma. I really do. Are you kidding me? Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Skyward Sword, baby! Yes! Yes! I've been watching Chuck and Conroy's Let's Play of this recently, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun to actually try this game out? And it, it's happening! <laughs> oh my god, yes! This is, yes! We love to see it! Oh, that's great! Oh, that's awesome! I wonder if we're going to see any more Zelda games. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. That looks so good! This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. It's been 10 years since it came out. I forgot. The Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would... Yeah, how is it going to control now? As a sword, I've been wondering that. ...controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that fact. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two controllers. Let's go! The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. The Link is left-handed. Swing his sword in the game. Yo, accessibility options though? The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller... Can you like switch the sword and the shield? Like, come on, left-handed people, rise up. You can perform other actions. Like I mean, I'm not left-handed, but I know that that was like a big issue in the original Skyward Sword. A sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After nice. How to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons? We decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Okay. Interesting. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Ah. To the right, to the okay. Left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Wait, but how is this going to be Here's easy with? We've been working on. This isn't going to be good with all the Joy-Con. 
The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Holy! That looks beautiful! ...depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. That looks so nice! We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend Yo, I kind of want to pick up those Joy-Cons. Those look nice. Whoa! Oh! Okay! I see you, Nintendo! Let's go! Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo e Wait. How long will it be available? Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date. How long will the game be available? Is it going to expire? Know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair. A stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give I won't. A try That's well. not true, Ren. Come on. Don't be like that. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This looks so great. Wait, that's... Well, what did you think? That's all the Zelda news? Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Oh, man. Look at this. It's all wrapping up already. What? Uh... Who's, who's that? Alex from it. What? Nani? No, no, no. I know they did not. They did not. They did not make a split two. Three. They did not just. They did not. They did not make a split two and three. They did not make a split two and three. There's no way they made a Splatoon 3. There is no way. Oh, they got the Eiffel Tower. Damn. What happened here? I haven't even played the second Splatoon game. But I've heard it's really good. There's no way. There's no way I they did not make Splatoon 3. They didn't. They they no, no, there's no way. Splatoon 2 is still getting updates in Splatfest. There's no way they would make a Splatoon 3 right now. No way. No, no, no. There's no way. Wait, this is a Splatoon 1 song! WHAT?! THEY MADE A THIRD?! WHAT?! Wha what They made a third Splatoon game. They actually made a third one. Are you... What? There, there's a lot to unpack here. The next year... Why is there another Splatoon? Like, I'm not, like, saying why, like, yo, this is ridiculous, but, like, a third Splatoon game already? 
What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series. Bro! This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. They made a Splatoon 3. I can't believe that. We showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you. Well, let me guess you're going to say one more thing. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay. Wow.